Hello. Hello, fellow Easy Railroaders. And hello, newcomers of the company. And hello, subscribers of the channel. I'd like to tell you a little story. Easy Railroad was once trapped under a curse. A dreaded curse that we thought was incurable. We thought that we could never escape. We thought that there's nothing we could do. We thought this would not end. Until today, Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2023. A day of jubilation. The day of when the curse of Molly McGee was lifted for the Easy Railroad community. Long ago, about a few months ago, almost a year, I met a user who loved my channel, who loved watching my videos, who wanted to try to make Easy Railroad a better place, an unhappy place, I mean, and a try to make it unhappyified. But it wasn't possible. Because what all, his actions only made things worse. This isn't a perfect company. But it's a really great community. Full of great voice actors. Great footage makers. Just people that keep the magic of Thomas and Friends. And all trains and cartoons alive. But if there's one cartoon character... That would, you know, destroy this company. That would be Molly McGee from Brighton, which is near Missouri. For as you can see, a faithful conductor, well, not really faithful, where you see a humble conductor wanted to start a great channel. Well, he has started a great channel. He's made movies. He's made a TV show. And he has made short videos and film reel bumpers and logos. However, the curse of Mon McGee changed all that. For you see, there we were. Happily in harmony. Until there came a woman with chaos in her wake. And pretty soon, the poor Easy Railroad was trapped. He was trapped. He was held against his will by the curse. And the curse eventually took over him. And now he was uncured. Now he is uncurable of the curse of Molly McGee. Pretty soon, Molly took over him. She, she wanted to take over streams next. She wanted all of a spotlight. She wanted to appear in our crossovers and our media and our art. We thought it would never end. Many people were getting tired. Not to mention that her hugging and kissing caused a great deal of damage. But the kissing was the worst. The hugging did like no damage, but the kissing, the kissing is hurt us. It caused us, it caused so much trouble until there came some heroes. Two heroes. Two humble heroes. One of them is actually right here. And this hero was named John. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> and so we thought, 
the curse would not be lifted. We were trapped in a curse. Eventually, people, however, because the curse took over him so much, we couldn't help but feel bad for whenever he, you know, when he was possessed by the curse. And well, caused him, caused his possession to, well, cause him to be sad because, well, yeah. For see, many people did not like this curse, and rightfully so. But thankfully, two humble, easy warriors came and changed all of that. Mm-hmm. Huh. For the honor. This huh. is a thanks to the owner, who eventually is a very good actor. And I think Drew, the one conductor, the six flagger or the six flag himself, is a very great animation. And his aws- awesome voice acting, everything. He has all his friends. Until the Molly Agi curse arrived. We tried warning him. But he wouldn't listen one bit. We, we warned Mata, Mata times. But Drew had enough and sent us for help. And that's when me and Clayton stepped in. We stopped the situation. Shit, sorry. That's alright. All right. When me and Clayton done something, we done something right. We told his mom everything. Half of everything, though. Except for the different scene, and I forgot to say, but I'll save that another time if he does it again. And that's how that's this all they... happened, and it came to an end after I told his mom. We got rid of him. Yes, sir. And we won. And that's how we became the, e- to me the Magic Railroad Three of us took him down. I have the proof of Man, I am a good voice actor, actually. I did pretty good. Okay, Rose the Cranky, he needs that French accent. Cranky needs to be French. The, uh, that person shit. Yeah, that last conjunction we found out. Shut up, Cranky. Drew, your microphone on your speaker sounds like shit. Have you got an echo on or something? Wait, what? Hold up. Drew's mic's playing up. Oh. Oh. Okay. Shut up, Drew, I think your mic's broken. You might want to come fix it and rejoin. There we go. His mic was working just fine. For me. Yeah, strange. Hmm. There anyway, we go. so my question there we is: go. Oh, there you go. How did Conjunction's curse begin? How did he get cursed? The curse of the Molly Agi. The show was a very great show for other children and from the Disney Plus, but till it could corrupt him and brainwashed him to have Molly Agi as his god. It got worse to annoy the lads. We have the two guests who got annoyed by his shit. We got Damien and Mason, the only two. I got annoyed they he were the only like two who got annoyed. And, like Molly and I don't want to spoil anything, but tomorrow a VIP will be joining the stream. Not saying who. <gasps> you mean Diesel, isn't it? It's Diesel, isn't it? Nope. No, it's not an engine. It's a person, not an engine. It's a VIP. No, user. but I mean the user. Who knows who the it u- is because it's for him tomorrow. Wait, hold up. Hold up. We have all three heroes right here. The we boy have the arrival. The boy is the one we who helped with the, the curse on our beloved company. The yes. curse. Of Molly McGee. Yes. The curse in which we thought it would never end. We thought we'd be trapped. We thought something would happen to us. We thought we'd be trapped. We thought, okay, Patina, you can play your records later. Please stop playing your records. Sorry, that's Patina what? playing her records. Huh. And after we're done, it's Yay, finally over. Being slow again. Yet. Yeah. And so. We all celebrated in harmony. So you see, you take... the curse was lifted. Mm-hmm. Yes. Both a romantic scene. No. The end. 
walking into the sunset. And to remember to what defend your friends. Easy remember, road. defend your friends and do the right thing to tell their mm -hmm. parents. And the so wrong, don't tell the them the wrong doings. Do the right doings. Mm -hmm. The end. Hey guys, I mean, I did a good voice That's acting, to be honest. Hey, Drew, you think mm. it's the line I'm thinking of? What? what? It's, we've reached the end of a story, and it's time for all of us to go home. Just like the, the end. end. Yep. Hey, you know what, Drew? What did you think of my voice acting, though? Yeah, pretty good, man. That was great. Ah, oh, I mean, yeah. I am good. I have... Yeah. yeah. And pretty soon, everyone celebrated, and then a parade happened. <laughs> Okay. That was okay. awesome. That wait, is that your new intro, Drew? Oh no, that was it just a New Year's um outro that I did. No, it looks really oh, good. Though. A lot of fun to make. Hey, actually, that should be your intro. Actually, since twenty twenty three is here, yeah. that yeah, should this, because it looks so gonna, good. This is gonna be my new profile for my plane to date. Yeah. Just wait, it's get loading up. My my stream yard is being really slow right now. Dang it. Oh, and um, Damien, remember that gift the Void showed you early while ago? I showed Wait, Rina what do gift. you mean, John? Uh, Void made me a gift of me and her, and you know Rena's OC now. She's actually rosy, All but right. redesigned as a dark pink color. And, mm. and I sent it to Void because I draw that last year, and eventually she made it, actually. <sighs> I told her here, and then she made it. However, Damien knows about it because he was the only one who knowed about it. Hmm. Most and stories have a however, though. And this is the cliffhanger. Oh, boy. OC, the break was it, temporarily. And who knows if he could bring the curse back. But thankfully, he might bring the curse back. Know, he has his easy road of friends to stay by his side. And he's yep. definitely learned not to go on power trips because... Power trips are bad, and well, yeah, you should never abuse your power at all. The end. Hey, um, the end. We're not sure how long he's gonna be gone, though. That's the thing. Yeah. We just hope for a long while, probably wait, four wait. weeks or so. And mm. I hope it's not a well, like over a year, maybe Damon wait, might wait, be wait, right, wait. but I hope it's just kind of, for a long wait. time. Um, you know what this is kind of making me think of right now? What um, is it? It's making me think of that Tony Thomas series episode saying goodbye where Thomas had to where Thomas was spending his final day with Jack before Jack had to leave for the Great Western. I remember that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Kind of I remember. It's kinda of hard memory loss. Yeah, I a little bit. Watched episode before. I actually <laughs> Thanks to your little quest, I had to do all of your work on top of mine. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I'll yeah, and it. after... Okay. Been very dumb at. Some person came up to my stream and what, just start quoting cars in the private chat. Oh, <laughs> oh, and after I send Rena the surprise of me and her, she actually loves it. And and I want to shout out to Void. Shout out to Verity Void for making the art. I really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I'll post it on my community post soon. So stay tuned. Um, the art will oh, yeah. be posted on my community post. Sorry, John. Mm. Wink. Oh, yeah. Uh, did you see my Thomas and the Dark Magic Circus remake? I don't think I have. I but... think you should see it. 
I think yeah, you should show that, a that share screen. A whole hour. That took me a whole screen. hour to work on. Actually, um, I think we'll watch out the stream because no offense, claim, but your computer's laggy. So yeah. Yeah, oh, it's laggy. Oof. Move. Oof! I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. The lag. Oh yeah, shit. guys. Um... Hello, Tails. Hello, Tails. Oh, yeah. Who is also a victim of this curse. <laughs> yes, and Tails, I got some good news for you. Conjunction is gone for a long time. His mom we found out. We saw and guess we what? Because of me. Oh, well, because of Clayton and, and me. With his mother. Yes. His mother. Yeah, His mom actually came in at the right yard. time. And after I explained an idea for his son, for Conjunta's mom, I told her to let your son take a break from social media for a while. I think it was the best solution to do because I didn't want him, yeah, like I you know, these days. The, um, that it's kind of stupid, but it. if he keeps on coming in, then more drama will be even worse. So... Eventually, this needs to stop. So he needs to take a break from social media for a while. I, I think that was the best one solution. Of the evidence of the, uh, you know, that first agent shit. I showed her the. Yeah, I yeah I know you showed evidence. Okay. I saw it. Bender came loose. He, he was no orange and he was dressed like a rain master, and he got so tired of clowns that he set out the top of his lungs. Clowns! Clowns! I yeah. hate clowns. Okay. I'm sorry. And I'm happy to be honored by the Magic Railroad, and I'm happy mm -hmm. to be honored to join the group. I still and information six hours. Andrew, and thank you for the honor to let me join into your group. I really appreciate it, or your company. I am honored. Welcome to Wait. Easy Railroad. Even, Andrew, even I'm not a good voice actor to send a video yes, clip, we are. I will try VIP. my best. Someone's returning to, to Easy Railroad, but I'm not going to tell you. But but while yeah. um, we don't have any further, I mean, I mean, we we can either confirm or deny his um, you know, presence. Well, but you yeah, already, well, you might already know about it if you're if you're in my Discord server because you already told everyone in my server. Yeah. But oh, he's really he did. will be happy to return. Who's hey, guys. Huh? Finally, we Hello. won the war. Yes, we've we done it. We won. Yeah. Yes. And now I'm a, he, I'm a Magic Railroad group. As my promotion. Yes. Railroad. I feel like oh, no. congratulations. Thank you, congratulations. Wait, John, you are the man. Hold on, let me say this. John, you are the man. To me. Hey, don't forget Clayton. we both and done this. Don't. Don't forget my hero. We will start on great projects like this one, for instance. Here's a trailer for one of my greatest projects, which I highly recommend. Check out my channel. Coming soon to YouTube. Let the march begin. July 4th at the Flags is coming soon. It's 4th of July at Six Flags St. Louis in the island of Sodor. Mr. Conductor stubs his toe and drops his gold oh, dust. He's going to need the help of his friends. I Cuddles the rabbit from Happy Tree Friends. Oh my gosh, Tails. <laughs> I wait, hope uh, I can see I you, Drew. I hope I can tail. come see you. If I'm wait, in, uh, I wait, where's that at? In Colorado or oh, Colorado? Colorado? Wait, I'm sorry, sorry. This is in Missouri, man. Matter of fact, collect. Damn. No, no, hold on. Matter of fact, collect all the gold dust. Collect wait, all the crap. You crazy? We got rescue. We got rescue. Okay, okay, guys. So John has to say something. Go ahead, Jonathan. Okay. Yeah, let my boyfriend speak. Okay, so I'm about to put up a profile that I'm going to use for mine and Clayton's date. So let me get it up real quick. Mm. Hang on. Okay. Okay, put, here it is. Just wait. It's loading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. That's cute. <laughs> in other words, mm -hmm. oh, that we put Molly in backstage. Bye. Well, I mean, well, I'm mean, not gonna lie. Well, no, 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 wait, hang on. It actually does Ooh, make exactly. sense that she, that no, it actually makes sense that it is a Molly curse because you know her best friend is a freaking ghost. And while he has the curse yeah, upon him, and we have the curse too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so what do you mean I'm affected from by the curse? Uh, Clayton, what did you mean by that? Wait, what? What did you mean by what you just said? I Drew, have no what? Idea. Drew, what no, do you wait. mean by infected by the curse? I don't like, even know why I said me. it now. Frick. Okay, you know what? 
I think he means Damn. like I think you mean like Wait, uh, you know how many what? shit you mean. You know, I'm gonna explain that. I'm gonna explain that. Hold on a second. I need to say something. Allow me to explain. For you see, many people who put up with Molly were actually being cursed. Hence the reason why I say we were victims of the curse. However, we easy rooters stuck together. We put our heads together, and we prevented the curse from getting worse. However, the curse had had almost had made me almost lost an easy railroader. You know who the easy railroader was? Well, he'll be coming back tomorrow. We're going to announce it. And we're going to speak to that person. But well, yeah. Anyway, let us now bring everyone back in. Okay. Ah, and, yeah. All right. Yeah. But the Victims very of the good question. Say. Yeah, if Thomas Tales don't know what you're talking about, the the Molly Gay curse, you. that's what we were affected by. We were yeah, affected yes. by Twitter, the Molly Gay curse. Yeah, Everything is and on Twitter, back. too. Yeah, it spread to episode. Twitter to YouTube. Thank God yeah. Instagram It was on Twitter. It. Oh, my God. Yes, yes it was. Way. He's gone and from my social until further notice. Oi, I will explain. Yeah. Because so if you guys got anything me, Nathan, for any and Dam- you can prove on it, hey, let us know. Damien, I was speaking mm. here. Oi, I was speaking yeah. here. I was going to explain. Yes, the Molly Geeker spread to Twitter because me, Damien, and Mason are the only ones who know about it because we keep getting stupid notifications. And Damien blocked. Well, at least he does have Instagram or Discord. But uh, wait, guys, I think I remember something. Years ago in yes, Collector John. Server, I think I remember uh, mm. Conjunction did had a, tw- a disco at one point, but I can't remember what oh, happened wait, to it. On. Wait, actually, uh, I do oh, remember. No, he didn't. That was no, out. Yeah. I, guys, I have a tough memory, but I think I do. Well, wait, we I all think probably I don't. Am, wrong. No, you're wrong. That was LPS. Um, wait, can I say something? No, I think I um. <laughs> I think I first met Conjunction back when I was friends with uh, someone known as Percy Rebecca, because I think me, uh, Conjunction was in one of Percy Rebecca's streams that I was in at the time. I remember her. I th- okay, yeah, I, I think that happened. Well. Or I've been on here for a while. When okay, yeah, I'm going to tell you how long I've been Who was Percy Rebecca? Yeah, I, um, I think I'm going to tell that far in that Conjunction. All right, I'm going to put everyone back today so I can t- tell the story, so... Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'll back in after I tell the story. This will be a short story, but well, yeah, so here we go. Now, sometimes I really want to be curious to see if anyone does any um, inspired media or, you know, music videos or messages to me saying, oh, Drew, you're doing great. Or, you know, um, my reaction to Drew Thomas being an awesome YouTuber or something like that. But also to see if there's any trolls. However, I search my name and what do I see? a person wanted to do a stream with me about my movie. And I was like, okay, this person really wants to know about my movie. Let's just uh, see how this goes. Which the stream didn't happen until like later in July. Just a, you know, just a little heads up. But well, and so I was like, who is this person? Then I met him officially in which Hudson was annoyed with him. And you see, I went back and forth with him. I like, I was like half not wanting to be with him and half wanting to see what he does. However, you know, then I found out that, well, he had a Facebook. He found me on Facebook. And, well, it was his mom's, actually. He doesn't have a Facebook, but his mom does. And his mom was happy with me being nice to him. And, well, yeah. And, obviously, um, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should give him a chance. And the rest is history. I gave him a chance, but later that I know, he was too much to handle. And that's the story. All right. Then how the hell do I pause this? Sometimes I can't pause in some things. All right. I question life sometimes. Wait, Me Drew. Too. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? In the end of the part, was was this guy like a pain in the ass? Yeah, it's I was a conjunction. Re- He's talking about conjunction. Oh, what you think oh, I was talking bad. about? Still, my bad. Oh, my bad. I thought you were talking about someone else, though, because it sounded like it's a completely someone no. else, but I didn't know. My bad. 
Of course, I'm doing this with Damien. Um, it's really short and simple. You see, um, first, you okay, see, um, during production of my movie, I was also starting redubs. That was also during the pandemic. And then I met someone who wanted to do his own redubs. His name was Enterprising. I, I checked him out. He was a really nice guy. And then eventually, um, I met his friend, which was Damien. And yeah, then the rest is history. Yeah. And uh, now we're here. Right. Yep. Best friends. And now, I didn't know so Drew at the time when I was young. <laughs> The yeah, only okay. new, the yeah, only and, uh, thing I, I, I met... was dealing with my drama with Thomas for Doggy Nineteen. Me too. I met you. At, oh, yeah, I, I met Clayton and. Uh, and I remember what Clayton and Damien and the rest of you. I think I remember you met me with Drew. Er, since having you guys talk about him some of the times, and I didn't know who it is yeah. until I asked. And then you met me to him. And ever since we both got along, I don't speak much to him out yeah. all the time. But half of the times I do because half of the times yeah. these days in the past, they always do videos or just relax because of school and hard work. Well, I I remember how I met Clayton mm. and Thomas Productions. It was like I remember how I met Thomas and Clayton actually and like actually like like they were like doing Thomas was doing a stream and Clayton was there and I'm like, guys, do you mind seeing my channel? Like I remember how annoying I was back then, but Clayton like and yeah, that's basically how I met like and that's how I met Clayton, you know. <laughs> how I met Clayton was Damon was doing a stream, some person playing as Wanda, and I was like, Oh my gosh, I kinda wanna play along with this Wanda person oh, because yeah. well Remember Yeah, that. I'm that kind of person that likes to play along with people playing as fictional characters. Hence the reason why For I was affected me? by the curse I'm of Molly McGee. Yeah, and how I me? met Mason was that uh he uh, I first Mason I was um I was gonna be watching the Magic Rare parody with some of my friends um, twenty second anniversary and I'm on my Yeah, yeah last doing that. Shit. I forgot was that July? Damn. And then I think it was a all right, all right, um, met me. Yeah. Huh? Can I explain how I met Drew? Yeah. Uh, you met him via stream. Go for it. All right. So how I met Drew, um, it was from this old friend of, of me and Drew's, the crazy boy and Oh yeah. And he basically um and? He's basically he's he, he he's like I think um onto other things, and well, I I got interest I got interested in Drew's style content and I and that's how we became friends. I was annoying back then. Hmm. Now he's yeah. right now he's mature as an adult. <laughs> hey Drew, I'm gonna show my sneak peek for my next remake after this time my parody's finished. Oh, hmm. there's something getting stuck in my throat. God. <clears throat> I think you might like it because it's your favorite villain from your movie next to your Oh man. Oh right. yeah. Oh, oh Pink Heart members uh Percy oh, and Oh my god. Oh, yes. Oh, I remember Pedro yes, Becca too. Right, I was one of her screens back when I met LPS Let's at the time. Sir, she was very nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Percy and Becca. I didn't know Pink Heart. I just remembered something. From the what is it? What you realize? Uh, wow. Oh yeah, right. I remember when you know both you know conjunction and Molly had me you know share their share screen. Oh, don't even get me started on that. Please. I don't. No, I don't need to know. Thankfully, the curse oh, is over. Yeah. Oh shit! Bothering my head. Oh no! Guys, I think I found out what happened. I swear. No, I don't know. Hold on, people. Let me speak. Everyone. Damn. Thank you. I found out how a uh, Percy and Becca, her main channel was gone. Pink Heart what, just explained it. How did it disappear? Her channel was gone. Yeah, her main channel oh, wait. was gone. I know why. I remember why now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I remember how it went. I think she said yes. she was in the Thomas friend. That's why she's trying to. Oh, oh yeah. So that's yeah, how I, it I happened. She I left the Thomas stand on. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. It's been so long. I forgot about it. Well, I didn't I think hear her much. I've been having that Moby Geek curse. Oh, like, I, I thought Prince of the got like terminated. No, nah, she didn't. She just left the Thomas fandom before we just deleted all the videos. Yeah, uh, she deleted her channel. Yeah, but still, I really need to talk to her again. It's been ages. 
I on guess she has a new Instagram channel, but we don't know where it is. Facebook. We Wait, didn't know. On. We don't know where it is now. Now she's gone. Yeah. Sonic <sighs> for hire. Wait, hang on. Can I speak real quick? Wait, who is Sonic Donald the Scottish yeah. twin? Wait, what? That's Keegan. I'm going to blow a fuse. Keegan, if that is you, Wait. I swear. That's not him. No, it's not. Wait, no, it's not. No, that's not Wait, him. Someone else. It has a toy figure of Donald. Uh, Donald. Oh, wait. oh yeah, that's Donald. the golden bear one. Yeah, uh, that is. That, that's someone else. Wait, that be Donald? Donald's not the one from Discord? Oh, no. never mind. It's him. Oh, it's him. It's him. It's him. It's him. Wait, it's wait. him. Well, Keegan, who is it going to be? Drew Thomas, or you're going to be affected by the curse of Molly McGee? Keegan. You have what I'm shooting for, right? Golden Tell Bear us boy. now. Keegan, you enter our stream oh, for I swear Keegan, to God. you enter. Hold on, let me explain. Wait, John, do you want to be angry, Douglas, for a minute? Hold up. Either. I don't think I can. Either Molly McGee or oh, no, Bad from him. Thomas Hills for Life. Which one? Mm. Yeah, Hemi won. Wait, hang on. I'm. Basically, how like like I said, how I met Clayton, I was like Thomas Production. Okay, was... okay, it's just a random YouTuber. I don't oh. think it's Keegan. Give him a chance. Don't worry. All right, fair enough. Hold on. Hold if on. he I says something get... about conjunction though, and says for us to force us to forgive, then we block. If I see any for, if I see any forgiveness forcers, like that's gonna be a new rule. No more forgiveness forcers on my channel. No, no more yes, forcing me to forgive I agree. because you can't because force people to take each other well. It takes them time. I know it's yeah. going to take me time. In fact, I'll, in fact, I already decided um, whether or not conjunction returns or not. He is not going to be a part of Easy Road. So, Joshua, if you're just now watching this, please discard the logo and also give Hudson back his logo because Hudson um, is back, which means, in fact, I think hard maybe hard replace. Conjunction's logo with Wall Clayton's logo. Hmm. I don't like maybe put like, like Wanda or Cosmo on the moon. Wait, what I mean, I actually really need a logo yeah, for myself. Logo. Last logo from Joshua um, from for me oh, was maybe you could have or like yeah. wait, maybe like moon of all the other shop and she knows character. I hope I can get a logo soon. And I know you guys were trying to give me a logo, but Drew did this. I will speak with it. yeah. Um, I will speak with Joshua about come up with a logo for your production company. So if you want to make video, well, I think you are making videos, so you can use that for like your projects and stuff. Like if you want to make a movie or your own television show. Yeah, yeah. Like I was planning. Well, I, mean, the, I, I was planning to make a movie, but it failed miserably. Because of my, yeah, yeah, um, I think I need like an intro, mind. like an intro for my um network. I guess. Uh, you already uh, know what fandom uh, I'm uh, in. My name has it. You forgot to say your line. Thirty minute mark. Uh, oh, and speaking, oh, fuck. And speaking oh, of, wait. You missed the line. <laughs> Why did you miss? Wait, it? hold on. Hang on. Let wait, me. Wait, I need uh, to say something. No, I need uh, to say something. Thirty three minute mark. Tails, shut up. I, I need to. <laughs> can I say something? Uh, I need to yes, ask something. Please. Speaking of lines, I mean, I'm looking at one of Subviper's community posts, and it's saying that you still need to do your Douglas lines for him. Send them already on Discord. Uh, anyway, so All now right. we shall say our final words about the curse. Um, who wants to go first to say the final words hey. about escaping the curse? Me. I, I want to be lost. Please. Can they be um, All right. I'll uh, go wait. second last. I'll go um, second last. Who wants to go because first? That's why I'm asking. Me. 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 Okay, I'm me. Jonathan. Jonathan. No, Tails. Want, no, Tails. Okay, Tails. Okay. Yeah. All right. I, the whole curse, I didn't like it. Conjunction, please do, do not enter my life again. This is gonna be forget, that's going to be a forgettable memory while I turn 18 or 13. I'll go after Damien and John. Hmm. 12, 3, 7, 1. But I'm going lost. So, I'm go after that me. Isaiah, do you have any uh, last yeah. words about the curse? Oh, I think I had something to say. This whole curse of conjunction was just, well, a nightmare. 
as well, Mavi getting it way too many times. Finally, the cut is broken, and Kajunton, finally, just leave us alone, and it's not sure we want to forget you or not. Just accept the friendship is over. That's it. It's not that hard. Hmm. Exactly. Yes. <sighs> All right. John, do you have anything to say? Oh, you can put me in solo if you're going to do this. Let's yeah, do right. this fairly. Now, as I want to want to say, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for corroboration this drama. It is finally over. I repeat, it's over for now. And But if he will return soon after Void, thanks to me and Clayton. And shout out to Clayton. Thank you for making this idea for the uh, the private stream yard was a genius design. And thanks to me. So thanks, thanks. to me, you guys. I, me and Clayton saved your asses. So you're welcome for the end of the drama. I hope you're all proud of it. But yeah, I said Clayton. I did say no, Clayton. No, you got me, ding dong. And right. Damien, I right. forgot I'm an idiot. Okay. Good, job, um, good job, John and, Cl and Clayton good and job, Damien. John. And now, the second hero, Clayton. Go, oh, babe. Boy. Here we go. You go, babe. Uh, John's making any difference. Uh, can you put me on full? Oh, yeah, I'll put you on full. Okay, thank you. Okay. So my response to the curse is like, 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 I mean, sure, that curse was like literally a nightmare to get through, but I am so relieved that it is finally over. Like, I have gone literally weeks without sleep because of all this drama, but thank God I was able to finally make it end. And heck, like, bro, I was really getting most of my calamities done because of all this drama, but now I can finally get them done since I finally ended the drama. Thank God. Okay. My response to the curse, it sucked, but thank God we finally got through it. Now, if you excuse me, me and Jonathan are going to go on our date now. Wait, wait. wait, wait. Jonathan, okay. Jonathan. Okay, so what I was going to say is that the curse, what do I think about it? Well, it was a pain in the ass because, like, Cause like I was originally gonna delete my film again, which sucked ass. But like, but since like this like um thing is whole over, I can um work on it in peace again without conjunction. So um and like I'm and like and what I have to say about conjunction, hug the hugging and kissing shit um, that like I don't know why conjunction did that. It's just, yeah. but yeah, I'm gonna go on my date with Clayton and I'll see you all later. Peace. Mason. Mm. My response is, honestly, it was a living hell, let's just say. Like, I had to do two blittering fucking edits, one of them sort of follow, even though I never liked it, but I got forced to, and literally other reasons. I got this whole shit on Twitter, thinking I'm gonna figure out how to fix it. But I'm more grateful that it didn't happen on my other social medias. It, it, this this old curse shit, it, it was just fucking hell. Living hell. Is that it? Yes. And now, again. Well, as I have been the culprit of some of this, I can finally say I'm glad this has been put to rest. I can now... Resume my videos as usual, and that Drew Thomas can continue his streams as he used to. Without that cringy Molly voice now being in the streams. I swear to God, those gave me air bleeds. That voice was so bloody annoying. I'm glad Conjunction's mom found out about all this. When I told her about it today, so... Hopefully it's all gonna get sorted out and stopped. Because I swear to God, if it doesn't, this will happen again. <sighs> but I'm glad for now the cross is broken. So... See you guys for season four. What? And now, for me, as the person of this company. Uh, hang on a second, John has to say something real quick. <laughs> the real quick, I want to say, I forgot, I didn't finish, but I, I'm going to say this real quick. So after the conjunction shit was a pain in the ass to all of us that we have to deal with, we almost lost the company because of conjunction. 
But after the Molly Gee curse was finally broke, me and Clayton fought back and fight back. We all fight back and finally we won the war. I wanted to say shout out to all of you who helped us. And sh well, kind of on shout out to you guys who supported him and helped the war. But anyways, this is John the Gamer 371 for the members of the company owner himself, Drew. I am out. Peace. Goodbye and pickle suck. Anyway, so, however, I'm not finished because I still have to say my part. Conjunction. You're going to hear this from someone who's cared about you and who's given respect for you. I was there for you because, well, in fact, the reason why I put up with Mo Mayfield, that, you know, douchebag was because of you. However, I think that the worst part of the curse was probably having you pop up as Molly in every single stream. Like, don't you get tired of doing that high-pitched voice? I mean, that's why I don't have, I mean, I mean, not to be sexist or anything, because, well, I truly think, in fact, I'm actually going to be planning some female lead Drew Tom stuff, so it's like Jelly, like episodes with Jelly Otter, Lisa Simpson, Bluey Healer, because, well, those characters don't have annoying voices, and they have awesome accents. And you see, um, and they have nice voices, but let's face it. Conjunction, I'm really sorry to say this, but the Molly McGee voice was loud, annoying, high-pitched, and obnoxious. And while I get it, she is your comfort character. However, she's also a curse. A curse that can easily be broken. You don't have to leave Molly behind, but you must escape the curse. The Curse of Molly McGee. It's worse right next to... Co it's one of the worst sicknesses next to COVID. The Black Plague. Black Plague, that is. And any other horrid sickness. Whether it's cancer. Or death. This is extremely contagious. And you people who are who are victims of the curse, there's still a chance to escape. You can still escape the curse of Molly McGee. Don't let it take over you. It's okay to be obsessed with characters, but don't go so far as to Lily voice we go as a character for every stream. I mean. I mean, take a look at me. I mean, yes, I, yes, I have tons of Percy hosted streams, but it's not a character with a high-pitched voice. They're just two British tank engines that have serious voices, and Molly's just loud and ear-piercing. So many times I had to turn down my mic volume, and not to mention the freakouts on, my, on the stream were so annoying. Every time I just hear the voice high, pitch raise higher and higher and higher, until it is at ear bleeding level. And then it just annoys me and it stresses me out. However, now, don't see this as the end, but a new beginning. A new start. Better streams. Less interruptions. More excitement. Great top. And not to mention, Hang on, folks. I'm getting a phone call. Hello? Yeah? <gasps> oh, man. So many coasters. Well, guys. Tommy G happens to know about so many coasters. And, well, I'm going to be going right with them on Six Flags St. Louis opening day. Which is happening in 46 days. I'm going to do a whole vlog. At Six Flags St. Louis. And at the hotel. 
and do a whole tour. Man, exciting things are coming up ahead of us. And not to mention the streams, I can officially have more audiences. I can have more people watching because Molly's going to be gone once and for all. This is it, guys. We're free. You're free. You are too. You're all free. You won't have to deal with that crazy woman anymore. For you see, Matthew 5.37 says this. Simply let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil one. I'm letting my, I'm letting my yes be yes and my no be no. This is a final decision. I promise. Cross my heart and hope to die. That no one will have to see or hear the words Molly McGee again. This is the beginning and the end. If you wish to see my awesome streams and my awesome videos that are Molly free now, check out Drew Thomas and Friends and Drew Thomas the movie, which doesn't have Molly in it at all. And the and all three Thomas Express films, all the third one. If you don't want to see Molly, then just skip past the, the Polar Express number. However, this is it. Goodbye, Molly. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Anyways, I thank you all for watching this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to Drew Thomas. And I will see you all in the next video and the next stream, which will actually be a Thompson Percy stream. To welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to say it, Hudson Train Guy 12. He's coming back. It's the ultimate reunion stream. The ultimate reunion. The ultimate reunion. Anyways, this is Drew Thomas. Your conductor and head easy railroader and boss and friend saying, We're signing off, folks. Good night and pickles suck.